Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'll be taking you through the AWS S3 multi-part upload feature using the AWS SDK for JavaScript version 3. So if you're familiar with S3, you're probably aware of the upload size limit, which is 5 gigabytes. So if you want to upload a file to S3 from your application, it has to be 5 gig or less. If you'd like to upload larger files, you'll have to use the multi-part upload. And this basically means uploading a file in chunks. So if you need to upload a 10 gig file, for example, you can break the file down into 10 chunks of one gigabyte each and upload them separately. And once all the chunks are done uploading, then AWS brings them together to in S3 to make that uh, 10 gig file. So I've gone ahead and set up a basic React application. And in my app.js, I've got a file input that will take in the file that the user would like to upload. First, let me install the packages I'll need. So if I head back to the documentation here, I'll search for uh, lib storage. Uh, this would be this library here. And basically this is the code that's needed to uh, initiate or execute the multi-part upload. So I'll need to import and uh, install these two libraries first. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so the first package is installed. Let me install the next one. Okay, and next up, uh, let me go ahead and import these in my application. And let me just go ahead and run my application and PM start. Then I'll also need my upload function. So go ahead and write that out here. And this function will accept the file, which will be passed on from this input here. Okay, so we'll just console log. And then I'll add an on change to my input which we'll call the upload function. Okay, so now if I select a file, this is a 225 gig megabyte file. So if I go ahead and select that, then uh, it should console log the file that I've selected. So to get the actual file, I'll call target.files. Okay, and that's the file. So I'll make that a variable. Okay, and then going back to the documentation here, I'll need to copy this entire piece of code And here I'll just need this new S3 client. I can get rid of the tags and queue size as well. And you can specify your part size here as well, but I'll remove that for now. And then as for the target, so you'll need to specify your bucket, your key, and the body will actually be the actual file that you uh, want to upload. So for my bucket, I'll go ahead and just copy the bucket name. Okay, and then the key uh, will be the file name. And then body will be our actual file. Okay. And then in this line here, where we have our S3 client, we'll need to pass a few parameters, which are region. And I'll get these from my S3 bucket and I'll just paste them in. And then you'll also need another uh, parameter, which will be your credentials. Okay. 
and I'll create a variable for that as well. And this will be uh, this will be your access key ID and your secret key. I'll go ahead and paste all of those. So this will be your access key ID and your secret access key. So I've just gone ahead and paste those and then I'll add the creds to my credentials here. Okay. And I think that should be pretty much it. So now if I go ahead and try and upload a file. Okay, let me just remove the await. Okay, so now if I try and upload a file, you should see each and every part when it's completed being console logged here. This will be uh, line 22. So once every part is uploaded, yeah, we'll just get a console log of each part. So the test file is done uploading. As you can see, uh, there are about 43 parts that this file has been split into. And if I go back to my S3 bucket, as you can see, uh, the test file is up here. And this is about 214 megabytes. And that's pretty much it. So obviously in your application, you would have some more styling and loading indicators. But for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to keep everything simple and show you how to simply add the multipart upload to your application. And that's all.